costochondritis, an inflammation of the cartilage that connects a rib to the breastbone. I had suffered it for 10 months before I had even heard the name of it. It would hurt simply rising out of bed or picking up the cat. Mine favoured the upper right side. The pain varied greatly depending how much I pushed myself each day. You could live with it as very irritating, but for a person as active as myself, it was very demoralising. I had no idea why my chest kept failing me in the middle of push-ups and pull-ups, losing stability. I let it be for a few months as I saw an osteo about it and then a second opinion from a physio, but I couldn't shake it, so I finally saw a sports specialist. He got me to stick strictly to isometric holds for a minimum two weeks, doing only high planks and forearm planks. I stretched every day, trying to open up the ribs and chest with varying twist movements and holds. That was followed by incline push-up negatives for the next fortnight, when you perform the down motion of the push-up only. I started from the fourth step up and gradually made my way down to the floor. I'd gotten three weeks into this process when I woke up one day with my chest suddenly constricting. Within the span of an hour, I was calling an ambulance to my house for the first time in my life. I pretty much couldn't turn my head. Contractions reached up the base of my neck and down my back. Any movement whatsoever, leaning one way or the other, was rewarded with severe pain, dizziness and nausea. Simply breathing made it worse. So all I could do was sit perfectly still and do shallow meditative breathing. The paramedics said I showed the same ECG waves as someone about to have a heart attack. A shot of fentanyl did the trick for the pain and then I spent 10 hours in the hospital quarantine because COVID in Melbourne had just started spiking for the first time. That was an episode of pleurisy, an inflammation of the tissues that line the lungs and chest cavity. It's like a film wrapped around your lungs that permits them friction and movement up against the ribcage when you breathe in and out. With no heart problems in my family or personal history, I figure costochondritis helped trigger this pleurisy. After all that though, I was back to 90% the next day. A couple days later, I restarted my rehab isometrics from the start. Demoralised from going backwards again, I found some Reddit users discussing costochondritis that led me to Steve August from New Zealand, who has a product called the Backpod. I instantly ordered one on Amazon and have since been using it religiously per day, lying on it in six different positions for one minute each. Steve August believes the problem lies at the rear of the rib cage where the ribs hinge onto the spine. I believe the back pod has had a significant impact in loosening those rear rib hinges. Some people have suffered costochondritis for years. With my passion for exercise, I don't want to imagine what it would be like not being able to perform a simple push-up. With the right resources, serious patience and dedication, I overcame it. This was my experience.